Hello and welcome to Intermediate Coding Concepts with Unreal Engine 4 by PACT. In this title, we will introduce intermediate game programming concepts, such as event handling, working with user input and collision system in Unreal Engine, and finally class communications in Unreal Engine 4. My name is Ali Reza Tavakoli, and I am an Associate Professor of Computer Science and the Director of the Digital Gaming and Simulation Program at the University of Houston, Victoria. My teaching and research interests are primarily in the fields of artificial intelligence, visual computing and computer vision, virtual reality, interactive systems, and robotics. Now, without any further ado, let's take a look at the course overview and see what we will be covering in these upcoming videos. In section one, we will cover event handling and delegates in Unreal Engine 4. We will describe how to utilize event handling concepts in UE4 and work with topics such as event handling with virtual functions, delegate implementations, and implementing custom events. When implementing event handlers using virtual functions, we will learn how to override virtual functions and add our own functionalities to the overridden virtual functions to perform certain custom tasks. We will then learn about implementing delegates and event handlers, how to declare them, how to bind them at the execution time, and how to execute and unregister them when they are no longer needed. And finally, we will learn how to implement custom events. We will basically learn how to declare custom events, how to bind these custom events to a U function of our own that we want executed, and how to implement the event trigger functionality upon a certain custom event happening. Section 2 delves into utilizing user input and working with collision in Unreal Engine 4. In particular, we will learn how to work with axis and action mapping what they are, and in which scenario and situation we will have to use them. We will learn how you can map access and action mappings to certain user inputs. We will learn how to implement action mappings on our player, such as enabling the player to pick up items. And finally, we utilize this action mapping to bind it to a function of our own to perform certain actions. We will then go into implementing object collision. We will learn how the collision system works in Unreal Engine 4 and how we can create collision channels to enable our objects to collide with one another. And we will learn how to implement a functionality that will be invoked whenever a certain collision has occurred. For example, when the player collides with the magic pill, we will be able to pick the magic pills up. Finally, Section 3 is concerned with class communication in Unreal Engine 4. It allows us to implement different functionalities that are shared among certain classes of different type or allow classes to work with one another, talk to each other, and perform certain actions when certain events are triggered. In particular, we will learn how to implement U interfaces and implement them on our objects. We will then go and learn about exposing the U interfaces to blueprints so that you could utilize the functionalities of the blueprint to define or invoke your U interfaces. And finally, we will learn how to implement an interaction system such that when the player enters the certain area in your level, you could call a certain interface that is implemented among several objects and then allow the objects take the execution of this interface and perform their own custom functionalities. So without any further ado, let's get started.